turn on some lights. Got the Rebel here, needs a wash, was just out on the beach. We had an awesome time out in Ocean City, but now we are back to the cold in Pennsylvania. It's about 10 degrees colder here than it was down there. So we're definitely gonna have to wash this thing up. We have the 2017 Camaro SS. We have the 72 Dart. We have the 2002 Yamaha Midnight Star. We have what I need to cut up into strips to finish the ceiling up in the mezzanine. And then over here, a few days ago, a week, week, maybe a week and a half ago, this showed up and obviously, well, yeah, we do have a Ford in the shop. It is not my car. This is actually Jack's car, Determined Veteran. Definitely check him out on YouTube as well. And it's not just any GT350R. This is, well, go check out his channel. There's a whole lot going on in this car. And yeah, it's got a couple snails under the hood, which will actually take this thing. I think he's over a thousand horsepower on this thing. So absolutely awesome build and yeah, definitely, like I said, check out his channel. We are gonna be playing with this car a little bit. He's gonna come over maybe this weekend or something like that. He's actually moving to Pennsylvania, so he's finishing up all the process of buying his house so he'll have a place to put the car, but I figured I'd give him a spot in the meantime, keep it out of the weather, and then, well, obviously, when he comes down, we're gonna go for a rip and have some fun with it. He did say I can drive the car anytime I want, but I just, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, it's his build, it's his car, it's a lot of money invested, and. I would just really hate for anything to happen to it and that would be my luck. But with that being said, we do have my Camaro over there and we're gonna go take that for a rip today because well, it's just one of those days and I think I need to just go for a drive. Charger, let's disconnect this guy. And we're gonna move the mud mouse. Hopefully this thing starts, it's been a little while. See how reliable the old Ford is. Oh yeah, just like a champ. Definitely drop in the comments. You wanna see us take this thing out to like Roush Creek or something like that, go through some off-roading? I think it'd be an awesome time. I think we can all agree that 2020 has been kind of a mess. So many different things have happened and well, you know, we all had to live through it. And some of us, it's kind of messed up our situation as far as just the things that we want to do as far as videos go and whatever. But either way, we're getting to the end of it. Hopefully 2021 is going to be better. I mean, I guess we're all going to hold our breath and hope that things work out for the best. But that being said, I just had a few things going through my mind about just the future of the channel and what kind of things that we should do next. I mean, it was pretty easy in the beginning with the Rebel, can, you know, just find all the things that I wanted to do to the truck and put it all together. And we played with it a little bit on the beach. I still want to go off-roading with it. So we're going to be setting that up probably in the next little bit here. We're going to be taking it over to one of the off-road parks and I'm not going to destroy it, obviously. I'm just going to be going and taking some fun trails with it. You know, a couple other people that have recommended some, some places to go that, you know, aren't going to completely obliterate your truck and just kind of have some fun and see the capabilities of it and all that kind of thing, especially with our wheel tire setup, the lift setup and all that kind of stuff and just see how the truck reacts off road so i've been reading some of your comments and about the bronco in particular and it's gotten me thinking and it's kind of what has been on my mind for the last little bit here i was pretty on board for getting the bronco it is not a cheap vehicle i mean even if you get a badlands and you spec it up it's you're still around mid 50s and still having the rebel you know it's they're in my capacity, like I'm not a, a Jeep type person, even though I have owned a Jeep, but I had to own a Jeep to find out that that wasn't really something that I was gonna go hardcore with. I am not the type of person to buy a $40,000, $50,000 vehicle. 
<laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. I had to. That, that was that's the most fun I've had all week. I guarantee you that. And it's Friday, so that's saying something. Well, I guess tomorrow's Friday, but either way, yeah, that was awesome. So what we were talking about anyway? The the Bronco. I'm I'm I love off roading, but. I don't like destroying something that's new. I mean, I, if I had like crazy money, I, I would definitely be like, whatever, you know, I, if I can make the money back or on videos and stuff like that, but that's not really not the case at this point in time. So just to get a vehicle that is mainly going to be used for off-road probably isn't something that's going to suit me. And that's what some of you guys said. They're like, if you didn't do it with the Rebel, you're probably not going to do it with the Bronco and it probably won't be the type of vehicle you might want to have for your channel and I had to think about it for a while and to be honest I, I think you're probably right I'm not going to probably beat that thing off-road and I really I have I have the 95 Ram for that purpose I mean it's not that's not an off-roader truck necessarily like the rock crawler or nothing like anything like that it's got a v10 it's kind of heavy but it does have really good diffs it's got Dana diffs in it so it can take a lot of abuse and it's pretty heavy duty built all together with the 37 inch tires it's got the big five inch lift and it's regular cap so it's not super long and i mean that's kind of going to be the trail rig that's what it's always been intended to be so for the more hardcore off-road stuff even though i've done body work on it i don't really want to destroy it I, w I wouldn't care about going through the trees and you know it's not going to scratch or nothing I, I raptor line the whole truck well i i plan on raptor lining the entire thing i've done the bed already and some of the cab but that, that that's going to be the one where i'm not really afraid to mess it up not that i'm super afraid of like beating the rebel a little bit but i just i don't want body damage and and all that kind of stuff on a truck that i just paid like 55 grand for so that's just kind of where i'm at with that one i'm not saying i'm not getting the bronco but i'm it's starting to to, to fall down the list on future plans i think i think we might be going a different direction there has been uh, thoughts of going on a performance end and maybe getting into like a C8 Corvette or something like that, but I just feel that that's been done so many times. I just, I don't know, I've never really been kind of at a crossroads for for content like this in a while, so it's just kind of one of those things I gotta work through. And there has been a development though, last night I ordered something that you guys are gonna wanna see because it's also just kind of a little fun side project and I think it's gonna be awesome has to stop before they turn but yeah so there is parts coming for that and it's going to be it's going to be more like off-roady kind of content so i hope that's going to be some awesome fun times because honestly sometimes the old junky cheap trucks are just so much more fun because you don't have any expectations from them and you don't really care what happens to them <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, it doesn't get much more fun. I, I don't use this car nearly enough. It is so much fun. And, well, sorry to anybody I may have uh, offended by my bald eagles back there. But, yeah, the Camaro is a great time. I have to take it to get retuned. But this colder weather, it really does like it. A little bit of boost weather. And it'll be fun to actually take out Jack, the Termin Veterans car. He's gonna take me for a rip in that thing. Hopefully the weather holds up and we can just go have some fun with some turbo action GT350. Never really been a super big Mustang guy, but like, I mean, that car is, that's like kind of the, almost the top of the mountain as far as Mustangs go. I guess the GT500 is like the only one that's, that's bigger than that one at this point. But I think his with the twin turbos definitely will put some power down and it should be a pretty wild ride. But for December, I know I'm a little late on the draw, just gonna be making just some of these random videos where we just kind of go cruise around. Cause really, I haven't made a video in a little while just cause I'm trying to figure out a way that I can, you know, make something that you guys will really, I, I guess, benefit from as far as like another mod for the Rebel or, or any of that kind of stuff, which I do have something on the way for. But there's just been a little bit of a time lapse and I wanted to just kind of throw some videos out there with you guys and just maybe get behind the camera a little bit and just just be able to go for a drive with you guys just kind of chill and not really think overthink anything and I don't know see where you guys are at with things too because 2020 has sucked and it's really kind of thrown me for a loop and sometimes my creativity gets drained a little bit after a while but it's been fun going out to the beach. I have the Rebel out. We went really far down the last time we were down. I, I just kind of really wasn't 
wanting to film that. I just kind of took a bunch of pictures for Instagram and did a bunch of stories and stuff like that because we were just having fun with the family. And I just, I kind of wanted to just re get my bearings back, I guess, as far as videoing goes, or video filmmaking and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't mean, I guess after a while you just kind of need a break sometimes and that's kind of where i was at but the new tires have worked out awesome they're so much better than the mud tires on sand i can't i can't believe the difference and definitely if you're doing a lot of sand stuff and honestly just for daily driving those all terrains are definitely the way to go i do like the mud terrains if you're doing mud stuff but i do mud stuff like one percent of the time and with that truck it's been zero percent of the time because there's really not a good spot to do that which brings me to something else because i want to make a spot in my yard i've already discussed it with the wife we're going to be making a little uh, mud test spot where i can actually like fling some mud tear it up and not destroy my entire yard so there's a little spot on my property that we can do that and that's going to be awesome and that's kind of like the little mod that i've been talking about for the older truck is going to come in we've got a few things in the works so definitely stay tuned for that but I've just been enjoying the drive, got the heated seat on. Camaro is running awesome. Love the Vortex Supercharger. These tires, well, I mean, it is cold out. It's, I guess it's 48 degrees now, it says, but it's definitely in the winter months. I'm waiting for some snow. I wanna take the snowmobile out. I wanna have some fun with that, do the winter stuff. Last year, we kinda of got robbed. I didn't get my Canadian moment. I get to go take my skidoo out and go rip around in the snow because that's, Probably the most fun thing you can do in the winter time, in my opinion, but we will see if we're gonna get any this year. It's hard to say. Pennsylvania is kind of hit or miss as far as that goes. But we do have more things coming down the pipe as far as the channel goes, and I've just kind of been brainstorming lately and just kind of trying to get through the, I guess, December. I, I guess December sometimes could be a little bit of a harder time, especially for creativity and whatever, because we're getting into winter months and it's a little bit depressing. Not to mention the crappy, 2020 that we've had it's kind of compounded on top of that but we're just trying to keep things going and try to keep things positive and just make some more content for you guys and hopefully everything in 2021 works out so much better so that's just kind of my little driving conversation for you guys and i'm going to try to put out a bunch of videos this month and i mean drop in the comments anything you guys want to see that maybe something that i hadn't thought of i usually don't don't put that out there but if you guys see something around the shop and you're like hey make a video on that whatever you know I'm, I'm open to suggestions or whatever else but we're just going to be making kind of these smaller videos and just talking to you guys and just kind of giving you guys a, an idea of what's going on around the shop and whatever today i'm going to be going to buy the wood for the shelf in the shop so that's going to be a step forward as far as the mezzanine goes and get that a little bit more complete and yeah that's pretty much all i got to say for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always keep that hammer down <laughs> oh this thing's too much fun